Basketball players are extremely unique athletes, but we wanted to look deeper into their common movement patterns and what makes them so elite. So we looked at four different quarters and different games for Kawhi Leonard, as well as a full game for Duke's Frank Jackson. Then, we took advanced notes for every single explosive movement. Yes, it's a very small sample size, but it'll help us demonstrate to you how unique of a game basketball is and why they're the best athletes in the world. So first, as a quick note, we only counted explosive movements above about 75% effort or intensity. So run backs like this don't count, for example. So what we first noticed is that on all of Kawhi's explosive movements and decelerations, his average knee flexion joint angle at the bottom was just over 140 degrees, which looks about like this. This is far from the low depth of a normal vertical jump or other explosive movements. This just goes to show that basketball athletes have to be very good at creating force very quickly without much of a counter movement. as well as being able to absorb force with a limited range of motion. Also, notice how many decelerations are with basically straight legs, especially lateral decelerations. So basketball players must develop the strength and tendon integrity to absorb force this way. During our observation, the average acceleration time was 1.45 seconds. We basically defined acceleration time as how long they took to reach full speed and then how long they stayed at that speed. So rarely do players like Kawhi and Jackson exert themselves for more than a couple seconds. Like this example, where Kawhi accelerates for 8 tenths of a second. And here, where Jackson's acceleration and jump are under 1.3 seconds. So basketball is nowhere near a sport like football, where players may exert themselves for upwards of 13 seconds, like in this kick return. So obviously, a guy like Patrick Beverly may be higher in this regard, but you get the idea. So what does this mean? Well, it means that players must have some aerobic base due to constant submaximal movement, like here, where Jackson just continues moving on defense. But they also must be able to move explosively multi-directionally for just a few seconds. So Kawhi, for example, covers about 2.44 miles a game. But in the game we watched, he only explosively accelerated for a total of 144 seconds. So what this means is that you have to move explosively very quickly, like a lineman in football, but also have the aerobic capacity similar to a soccer player. I think you get the point with the soccer example. And notice how even when they do reach a constant speed for more than a couple seconds, it's rarely over about 85%. This is because the court is so condensed and packed with players, and it can take up to around five seconds to reach full speed. Another unique part of basketball is that rarely are movements truly linear or straight up. For example, about 28% of Jackson's accelerations were lateral, and over 21% of Kawhi's were curved to evade screens and more, which makes it a very important motor pattern to train in basketball. Finally, about 38% of Kawhi's jumps were also either lateral or forward, not simply vertical. And you know what this means. If the jump moves laterally or forward, the landings will also require not only vertical deceleration, but also linear and lateral deceleration. For example, the rotation in a jump shot many times causes players to land on their left leg instead of both. And this demand for multi-directional jumps also means more kickstand jumps, where players must decelerate and then explode upwards than in other sports. Watch how Jackson plants a straight left leg to decelerate and then must explode upwards with his right leg. So thank you, Jackson. Plus, for many accelerations, you have to turn your hips first. Watch here how Kawhi shifts his hip direction before exploding. And basketball is by no means a non-contact sport. Many movements include contact, which just intensifies the full body output. 
Plus, because of contact, landings can be made very difficult. Even hanging on the rim can cause this. I mean, look how far Kawhi drops after this hang. So there you have it. Put all this together, and you have an extremely all-around unique athlete. If you want to know why we chose Jackson and Kawhi, check out the blog post in our description.